Hey, what's going on? Um, I just saw Snow's new video, and um, again, it's a, just a bunch of lies. Uh, I'm going to answer a few points in the video, and then I'm going to show transition to fossils. And now that I actually have webcam, I can show you pictures. Um, he says, uh, quote, he, well, not quote, this is actually a picture that was in the video. Um, it shows the evolutionary line of mammals, and it shows a T-Rex being the ancestors of mammals. That shows how little this person knows about evolution. Because the a dinosaur dinosaur and um and uh, mammal evolutionary lines split way before T Rex. Um it split actually um more than hundred or more than two hundred million years before that. Next he says or not he I guess this is something else, uh, but just a clip that Snow put on here. So I'll just the per the I guess I think it's Harun, I guess the guy's name is, but anyway. He says, quote, Darwin was aware that the fossil record didn't have any intermediate forms, end quote. Uh he was aware that as he knew it, the fossil record didn't have any intermediate forms. That's because paleontology was hardly a science when Darwin made up his uh theories. That's why he hardly did, he didn't have any fossil record evidence in his book. He just did it uh, all on um, observations. Next, it's a, a quote: "Cambrian species came to existence all of a sudden with no ancestors." Um, there are tons of Precambrian species, whoops, including soft-bodied trilobites and um, coanoflagellates. I'll show you some pictures here, and I'll, I'm going to show you some pictures of transitional fossils. Um, Okay, doesn't look like I can do this very easily. Uh, here, I'll do it like this. There we go. Let me get. Don't you dare freeze on me, Firefox. Uh, there we go. Okay. That is a soft body trilobite from the Precambrian strata. Um, now, right there, this is another soft body trilobite from Precambrian strata. Then, this is another soft body trilobite from Precambrian strata. And, this is another pre uh, Precambrian soft body tribite. So the idea that there are no uh, any any Precambrian trilobites is just completely false. Um, let's see here. Next, I'll I'll do whale evolution since I like whales. Okay. So this, whoa, that one right here is Pachycetus. As you can see, the nostrils are on the front of the skull. Then we have Ideocetus, whose nostrils are in the middle. Then we have modern-day beluga whales, whose nostrils are at the top. So through nostril evolution, nostril ev evolution, sorry, you can see the transitional forms of whales. Here, uh, let's see here. The leg form, leg fossils of horse evolution. Right here, you can see it actually has individual toes. Then you have the toes uh, kind of morphing together. Then we have the two middle toes becoming one, and then just the two outside ones left. Then here we have uh, the complete one hoof of modern horses. And then there's the modern horse right there. And the modern horse, actually, you can, there are traces of the two other little ones that come off the side, two toes that come off the side. There are traces of that. Next, we'll look at uh, the amphibian to fish, or fish to amphibian, whoops. Um, amphibian to fish evolution. Uh, this is Tiktaalik rosei. As you can see, there is the, where is that? The limb fin to shoulder fossil, and sorry, this is kind of hard to do with a microphone in my hand. And there is the back limb fin to shoulder, or 
I'm going to shoulder to Finn, sorry. And here is Ichthyotega. Ik That's an odd name. Um, let's try to find a good picture of it. The There we go. I might have had to blow that up. Uh, just got to wait for this new window to open. Here we go. That is the hind limb of this. This is one of the first tetrapods uh, because... Although the, although it does have hind limbs, they are very, uh, not very. They're not very formed very well. And let's see, there's the back one. It has seven digits, and it's where is this one? Of, this is uh, I think it's early Devonian tetrapod. Okay, now I'm going to try attempt to show you some pictures in a book I have. Let's just hide that. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Okay, this is first book I'm going to be using is the fossil book. I took this out of the library a while ago. It's quite a sweet book. Okay, let's try to get this to the right page. Okay, this guy. Like I right, whoops, right there. I'm gonna try to get a better picture of that. Uh, whoa, whoa, it's this page. Okay, there we go. That guy is the one of the first. He, it's the first creature we have with a notochord, which is a precursor to the backbone, as you know. I hope you know at least. Uh, now we have the lobe li lobe finned fishes uh let me try to get a picture of that right there god sorry this is really hard to do if you haven't figured that out yet okay right there's the lobe fin um as was shown in a picture that gravitationalist has up i'll try to put that in the information bar you can see it shows the evolution of the lobe fin fishes uh, f through homologous <coughs> forms to the um, uh, hand we have today. In fact, it's right here. Picture that's right here. Right there. As you can see very clearly, there are many same the same bones uh, in limb fin limb lobe finned fishes as we have in tetrapod hands. Oh, I only have two minutes left. I'll try to make this quick. Next. And uh, finally, I shall show you a list, nowhere complete list, of transitional fossils. Okay, here we go. This is from Wikipedia. I'm sure you've seen this many, many times. Just got to get it to equilibrate there. Okay, there we go. There are, here, let me focus this. This way. There we go. There are the a now not complete list, but a list nonetheless. List of fish to amphibian fossils. Then amphibians to amniotes. And then synapsid to mammals. I like the synapsid. That's a cool word. And then diapsid to birds. I think Mycoraptor is missing from that. And then there is the evolution of whales. Probably one of my favorite evolutionary lines. And then we have the evolution of the horse, as I showed you before. And there is the evolution of man. Okay. So, that's all I've got for you. I'll put a link to the talk origins list, which is much more complete than the rudimentary list I just showed you, uh, in the information bar. Let me just try to focus this. There we go. Okay. 
So, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I can get a new microphone soon. And, uh, see ya.